Van Damme versus Chuck Norris. If we were to make a list of some of the most iconic fighters to have graced our screens, the list would be incomplete without the likes of Van Damme and Chuck Norris. With both stars carving niches for themselves, it is safe to say that they are the role models that younger fighters in the entertainment industry look up to. We have grown up watching these two stars become icons in their own rights. And when it comes to the martial arts action film genre, these two fighters command so much respect. So imagine what would happen if we were to pit these two star fighters against each other. It would be the fight of the century, but who do you think will emerge as the winner? Well, that's exactly what we are about to find out. But before we get started, don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe to our channel if you haven't already, and click on the bell icon so you never miss an upload. So, before we get down to this seat-gripping fight, let's meet our two fighters on a personal level. First, Jean-Claude Van Damme. You may not have known this, but Van Damme, as he is fondly called, was named Jean-Claude Camille Francois Van Varenberg. When he was born on 18 October 1960, he is a Belgian actor, martial artist, filmmaker, and fight choreographer. Van Damme, or JCVD, was born and raised in Brussels, Belgium. He was the son of Eliana and Eugene Van Varenberg. From the young age of 10, Van Damme's father enrolled him in a Shotokan Karate school where he learned Shotokan Karate, as well as kickboxing. He began his martial arts career at the age of 12, when he joined the National Center of Karate in Belgium, under the tutelage of Claude Goetz. He trained for four years before he earned a spot in the Belgian karate team and went on to train in full contact karate and kickboxing with Dominique Valera. At the age of 15, Van Damme had already begun his competitive karate career in Belgium and in the space of five years, he had compiled a record of 44 wins and four losses in both tournament and non-tournament semi-contact matches. When Van Damme was 16 years old, he took up ballet, which he studied for five years. And he did this because ballet is not just an art, but it is one of the most difficult sports. So according to him, if you can survive a ballet workout, you can survive a workout in any other sport. JCVD continued to pursue his martial arts interest. And by the time he was 18 years old, he had earned his black belt in karate. He also began lifting weights to improve his physique, and he did so well that he entered the Mr. Belgium bodybuilding competition and won a title. Later on, in his martial arts career, Van Damme took up Taekwondo and Muay Thai. He competed in several kickboxing matches with a record of 19 matches, 18 wins by knockout, and one loss. By 1982, Van Damme retired from competition. In that same year, Van Damme moved to the United States with dreams of becoming an actor. He started out small with small roles as extras. And his first job was as an extra in the hip-hop dance film, Break In. Interestingly, at this time, JCVD developed a friendship with Chuck Norris, who was already an action martial art film star. The two started sparring together, and Van Damme even got a job as a bouncer in Norris's bar. Van Damme was able to work in the stunt team in one of Norris's movies and went on to get small roles in other movies. By 1988, he got his first major role in the movie Bloodsport and he has been in several action movies including Kickboxer, Universal Soldier, Hard Target, Street Fighter, Maximum Risk, The Expendables 2 and The Kickboxer Reboot. Carlos Ray Norris fondly known as Chuck Norris, was born March 10, 1940, in Ryan, Oklahoma, to Wilma and Ray D. Norris. Contrary to the fierce fighter that we came to know and love, Norris was a child who was not athletic, shy and scholastically mediocre. While growing up, Norris's father was an alcoholic and this behavior greatly affected his family financially and also led to the divorce of his parents. 
And so because of his family's financial predicament and his father's drunken behavior, Norris developed an acutely introverted character that would stay with him throughout his childhood. As a young man, Norris joined the United States Air Force as an air policeman, and he was sent to Osan Air Base in South Korea. It was there he acquired the nickname Chuck and began his training in Tang Soo Do. After being discharged from the US Air Force in 1963, Norris applied to be a police officer in California. But while he waited to be called, he opened a martial arts studio. He began to take part in martial arts competitions, and at first, he was losing his matches. However, after a few years, Norris began improving and counting his wins. He won several championship titles and even defended his title as world champion at the International Karate Championship. By 1969, Norris made his acting debut in the Dean Martin film titled The Wrecking Crew. He also worked with Bruce Lee in the widely acclaimed martial arts movie Way of the Dragon. He played other small roles until he landed his first starring role in 1977 in the movie Breaker. He starred in other action martial arts movies including Good Guys Wear Black, A Force of One, An Eye for an Eye, Code of Silence, Delta Force Two, Forest Warrior, and The Expendables Two. Norris founded two major martial arts systems, the American Tang Soo Do and Chuck Norris system. He studied other forms of martial arts to develop his own, including Shotokan, American Kenpo, Kyokushin, Judo, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, Anis, Taekwondo, and Hapkido. He has a 10th degree black belt in the Chuck Norris system, a 9th degree black belt in American Tang Soo Do, an 8th degree black belt in Taekwondo and Kyokushin Budokai, 5th degree black belt in Karate, a 3rd degree black belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu and a black belt in Judo. So now that we have met these two iconic martial artists, the time has come to determine which one of them will emerge as the winner in a one-on-one -on -one fight. As always, to decide the outcome, we'll be judging our fighters across four major categories. These are fighting pedigree, physique, skills, and improvisation. For each category, each fighter will be awarded a maximum of 10 points, and the fighter with the higher cumulative points will be declared the winner. Let the fight begin. Fighting pedigree. When it comes to their fighting pedigree, it is very difficult to distinguish these two fighters as they are both very accomplished. But for the sake of this fight, Chuck Norris wins this round with 10 points. This is because he has seven black belts in different martial arts, and he has a martial art that he personally developed. And Van Damme gets a close nine points. Physique. For their physique, we will be judging both fighters when they are still in their prime. With a height of 1.7 meters and a weight of 80 kilogram, Van Damme was nothing but pure muscle, while Chuck Norris had a height of 1.78 meters and a weight of 70 kilogram. Both fighters have very close height and weight, but we will give Van Damme nine points for being heavier and eight points for Chuck Norris. Skills. Because Norris has a wider range of martial arts under his belt, he has more skills than Van Damme. So eight points to Norris and seven points to Van Damme. Improvisation. When it comes to improvising, Norris has the advantage since he is lighter than Van Damme and has mastered different forms of martial arts. He will be able to spring a few surprises on Van Damme. So once again, Norris wins with eight points and Van Damme gets seven points. The verdict and the winner of this nail-biting fight with a total of 34 points to his opponent's 32 points is Chuck Norris. So what do you think of our verdict? Do you agree or disagree? Let us know in the comments section. Thank you for watching and catch you in the next one.